All right, we're going to be testing today the laser mask, uh, laser jammer, speed jamming GF100. We have a two head. Um, we have it. We're being it's being professionally installed over here at Mega Max. This is basically what the head looks like. It's an LED jammer. Um, this is the the box, and then has a on off. It looks like, and then um, you can turn the volume up and down, and that connects to the back. And then you have your interface. Okay, which the wires are mostly already hooked in. It's a hook and plug and play basically. Um, this is a newer jammer on the market. Uh, this is the information that comes with it, basically. Uh, you get your. Uh, this is the uh, information that comes with it. This is the laser mask again. This was tested by Speed Zones. But uh, we're doing our own independent test today to see how well this thing actually performs. And yeah, this is kind of the, the manual and stuff on the GF100. Uh, they did not send us the laser mask. Um, the little, you know, Zorro mask. I'm kind of disappointed, but that's all right. But anyway, this kind of give you an idea of what this little system is. It's a two head. The other head's in the garage. We're about to hook it up. So it is an LED uh, two head. So GF100, and it is being installed here at, as you can see, Mega Max. All right, we'll see how well it does. We'll be back in an hour. We will be testing with the Pro Laser 2, by the way. We just took, we just took a 3,021 foot shot with a black car, and you can focus out there on the top of the hill, way up here. You can zoom in, zoom out, kind of give an idea how far out we are. And I'm popping cars off the top of that hill at over 3,000 feet with the Pro Laser 2 very, very accurately. Now let's see if I can get another one here. Hours. We will test this unit. This is independent testing uh, today. We're doing on, uh, we're, we're out here, we'll test any laser jammer I test in the Atlanta area. Uh, but we will test anybody's laser jammer with our Pro 2 to just to see how well they perform and to kind of give you an idea how well they perform against the laser speed trap. We want to see how effective the new uh, GF100 is. So we're just doing independent testing. We had it installed by Megamax, a professional installer of laser jammer systems. And um, again, the two head, we're going to be shooting at 1,000 feet. You can zoom in down there and see the cone. Uh, the first cone is exactly 1,000 feet. The second cone is 500 feet. And here's the two head unit we'll be using. It is the uh, laser mask. F100, 250, mounted exactly as it has in the manual. Level, just like all laser jammers are supposed to have the, the heads level uh, to the ground. Uh, level to see out where an officer is shooting. Officers target usually the headlights or anything that's reflected. Target this, will definitely target this. Now we're going to give it a shot. This is on a black vehicle. We want to see how well this uh, unit performs. Again, this is just independent testing, uh, and we just want to see how well it works. Uh, we would do this with any any laser jammer, whether it's a laser interceptor, an LPP, um, uh, anti-laser G8, a blinder system, it doesn't matter. Whichever one would we'll test, we just want to see uh, if the manufacturer is actually, you know, living up to what they say that their jammer will do, and do as advertised. All right, we're recording now. We're taking some shots here. Okay, here comes our test vehicle. This is the um, laser mask GF100. I'm shooting the rear just to show you I can get a speed. No problem. And here we go. Thousand foot shot. This was uh, went 
for a center mass shot, they went for a headlight shot and got him at 35 miles an hour at 225 feet. Okay? Let's see. There we go. Alright. This will be a 500 foot shot. I am using a tripod so it's a little steadier than using a normal hand. Here we go. Got him. Instant punch through. Wow. That was actually at 500 feet. I got him at 353 feet, 33 miles an hour from 500 foot cone headlight. Okay, we are now testing on a mirror shot. Thirty-five miles per hour at five hundred and forty feet. Okay, this is basically what you would see inside the car, see and hear what would be going on if you're getting clocked by a laser gun. And up there in the white car we have a Scott shooting a Pro Laser 2 and we'll see what happens. Alright, so this, you can hear it from the speaker right there, and you see him up there shooting you.